y'all it's Ashley here welcome back to my channel and today we're just gonna hop right into this super quick wig review so I posted pictures of me in this wig um, when I went to Jamaica and everybody went crazy over it um, I love this wig to death and the best part about it is that it is a synthetic wig so it's super cheap and I want to put you guys on today so here's the stock card for this wig it is called the sensational Empress lace front wig in Italian curl and I have the color 1b this is what it looks like on the model on the back of the card it says perfectly customized for most natural look and comfortable custom fit fuller more voluminous styles which is true this wig you can do um, in the left part or right part center part you can wear all back um, it has a contoured mesh up here hand tied part and adjustable straps so more information about the construction of the wig it has adjustable straps in the back it has one comb in the back and two combs right here in the front so there's nothing um, on the sides which I don't really mind because my head is small anyways and if these two combs are secure as well as the one in the back then the wig is not it's not going anywhere you can really find this wig anywhere I will link all the links down below where I have found this wig but for me I ordered this wig from divatress.com and it was $27.95 and with shipping um, it came up to about 30 30 and change or 31 dollars not a bad price for a wig like this honestly this wig is it really mimics like brazilian curly hair if you ask me and it's super super soft um even though it is synthetic it does not feel synthetic it does not look synthetic it looks super natural this is like the perfect like summer hair i swear it's like the perfect 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 summer hair you don't have to spend a lot of money it's super cheap and it's just great for the price so the other colors that this wig comes in is um the color one which is darker than the 1b one is jet black you have 1b 27 1b 30 1b bg really all these colors down here at the bottom of the stock card so you have ombres you can get a darker color you can get browns reds whatever this is what the wig came in right here this large box i was not expecting it to come in this huge box it's just um, has all the specifications on the front it says that it's safe up to use a curling iron that is 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit although I don't see why anybody would want to use a curling iron on this um, it keeps the curl pattern even if you add water or products which I have it doesn't mess up the curl pattern or anything it is 100% premium fiber like I said so it's 100% synthetic so everything was packaged very nicely the wig came in about I want to say like four to five days, like roughly four to five days after I ordered it. So for me, that's pretty quick. I want to say the span of three to five days, actually, just depending on where you live. So a lot of people have been asking, is this like the natural state of the wig? Did I do anything to it? Did I cut anything? No, this wig did come in layers. I'm not sure the inches of this wig, but if I pull it down, I can kind of, mind you, I'm five, six, so I'm not really sure. It reaches like to right above my butt area. So I want to say the longest is maybe like 24 on me, I think. But the wig did come in layers, so that's why you see it is shorter up here and then medium down here and longer right here, which I do appreciate. Although when I first got the wig, it was kind of annoying because um, two dislikes that I didn't appreciate was um, the layers were fine. It's just that when it came up here it was super bulky. So like you see how it's like really, really flat now. When it first came, it was like super high, kind of like that. So in order to fix that, I had to um, spray it with water, spray it with hairspray, and basically tie it down. I had to leave it like that for maybe like 15 to 20 minutes. And then when I took it off, that's when it was flat. But I noticed that um, each time I wear the wig, I have to do that every time. Because I always put my wigs back in the packaging um, before I wear them the next time. So I noticed that every time I take it out the package, I have to do the same thing or else the top is just going to be super bulky. So it's not a hard fix, but I just wish that the top came flat, but it didn't. But that's okay. It's an easy fix. Another thing I didn't like was the parting. Obviously, you guys know a lot of synthetic wigs don't come with the most natural part, which is fine. But if you don't know how to pluck wigs the best or make them look look as natural as possible then maybe that could be a potential problem for you although I was okay with it because I do know how to fix it so the part was a lot smaller it was maybe like maybe like that when I first got it or even worse and it wasn't um 
the color that it is now so I went in there I um, took out a few pieces of hair plucked it as much as I could I, I really just use my fingers I don't really use the tweezer like that and um, I basically made a swoop with my natural hair and I just concealed it a little bit so right here is where the lace is and the lace goes from here to here so basically from temple to temple and um if you wanted to wear it all back like this you could i personally just don't but i mean if you want to wear it like that you can just make sure that you of course like fix it up a bit but i just wear it flat like this and i scoot it back a little bit so that my hair is out in the front so that's the wig cap and that's the hair and i just place it like that like i'm wearing it right now is pretty much how i wear it every time i know when i went on instagram live today i tucked it behind my ears so you can do that as well for like a more natural look guys it flows it's amazing as far as products to put in it don't i wouldn't say do much because you really don't have to do much i never brushed out this hair all i do is finger detangle shedding with this hair not a lot of shedding let's see if i run my fingers through it right now Oh, that's not even a piece of hair. <laughs> the shedding is really not bad on this, like, at all. Like, nothing came out. There's, you know, like, a couple pieces down here that you can just, like, pull off the ends of the hair. But really, the shedding is, like, little to none. Um, if there is shedding, I mean, that's normal because, again, it is a synthetic unit. When I first got this wig, um, the curls were, of course, more structured than they are now. Being that I've been wearing it every so often after that, over time, it's getting a little bit, you know, like more frizzy, more natural looking, which I honestly love about wigs. It's like when you first get it, it looks very like fake, but then when you wear it, you know, more and more it starts to get frizzy and like it starts to show, you know, like it's natural state and I feel like it looks more natural like that. I really have nothing bad to say about this wig, you guys, except for those two things but those are easy fixes big hair so if you guys like big hair this wig is for you if you don't i mean you can always cut out some in the back because i know the back is very the back has a lot of hair but if that doesn't bother you then this wig is for you honey honestly this is probably one of the best wigs that i've had so i would honestly rate this wig like a 9 out of 10 not giving it that extra point just because it wasn't as flat at the top that I wanted it to be, but this look is great. It's amazing. Perfect summer hair. I feel like you guys should get it. Every girl should get it. If you guys get this wig, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you had any problems or concerns with it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys love this wig, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.